once upon a time. There was a diligent laundry man in a village far, far away. The laundry man had a tiny house and a barn behind his house, where his beloved donkey and horse lived. <laughs> what a tiring day yesterday was. <laughs> Whoa, horsey. If anybody's tired, it's me. Heebaw. I'm carrying the whole load. Maybe, but I'm carrying the laundryman himself. <laughs> Hello. Come on, hope you got some rest, because it's time to hit the road. Every morning, the laundryman loaded up the donkey with all the clean laundry that he had washed the day before. Then he mounted his horse and set off for villages far away to deliver their laundry back to them. All through the day, he delivered clean clothes to people and took the dirty ones. However, the donkey often grew tired because he carried all the laundry and was usually exhausted by the time he got back to the barn. He would eat and then fall asleep immediately. <laughs> what are you doing, donkey? Sleeping already? <laughs> I could go for a run around the barn. Of course you could. You are not the one who had carried all that heavy laundry. The laundry man woke up early the next morning and washed the dirty laundry he collected yesterday. Yep. Now that I'm all caught up, I'll go to the village and collect more dirty clothes. The laundry man took his horse and donkey out of the barn and set off on the road. I've come to get your dirty laundry. Ah, glad you're here, laundry man. Here's the dirty laundry we've been collecting all week. Thank you, ma'am. I'll get your clothes back as soon as possible. The laundry man knocked on the doors of all the houses in the village. He collected a lot of dirty laundry from almost 15 houses. And he put the whole load on the poor donkey. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! These are too heavy! That day, the laundry man walked beside the donkey so that the loads would not tip over. But the donkey was exhausted. His legs gave out, and he fell down in the middle of the road. What happened, donkey? You're very tired, aren't you? We'd better get some rest here. The laundry man laid down under a tree to get some rest. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! Hey! What do you want? I just wanted to say that today my load is heavier than usual. Couldn't you just help me a little? <laughs> Sorry, donkey, but it's not my job to carry laundry. <laughs> The laundry man finally stood up and they were all on their way again. They took a few steps, but suddenly the donkey fell to the ground again. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh, my poor donkey. Sorry, I made you very tired today. Come on, drink some water. The laundry man took all the laundry off the donkey and put them onto the horse's back. <laughs> the donkey finally felt better, but this time, the horse's load was too much for him. I should have put half the laundry under the horse's back from the very beginning, so that the donkey wouldn't have been injured. Since the horse did not help the donkey, he had to carry all the laundry on his back all the way to the house. When he got to the barn, he couldn't even eat because he was exhausted. I did something selfish today, my dear friend. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> now you understand me better. Helping and sharing is important. Eeyaw! Eeyaw! Never forget that, my dear friend. From that day on, whenever the laundry man had a lot of laundry, he took care to share the load between himself, the donkey, and the horse. <laughs> <laughs>
In this way, they were less tired and had more fun.